Hey everyone, I'm uh, going to do a little video on a uh, 1971 VW bus. It's a friend of mine's. He bought it from California about two years ago. And it's nice and clean as far as the body. Uh, there's no Bondo on it or rust really to speak of anywhere. But uh, it has a bunch of issues and he asked me to go uh, take care of them for him. So, I brought her home the other day and took it off the trailer. And brought her in the garage, got the snow thawed off her, and after this video I'm going to go turn the heat on and put her up on the lift and start picking away at those issues. And uh, a couple of those things are, it's missing brake fluid somewhere, puts it in the reservoir and uh, doesn't um, see where it's going. That's one thing, I don't see any of the wheel cylinders wet, so I have a feeling it might be leaking out of the back of the uh, master cylinder. The Headlights, you got to turn them on when it's running. You got to turn the key off and turn the key back on to get the headlights to work. Um, should have wrote all the stuff down, it would have been a lot easier to remember now, wouldn't it? We got boxes and boxes of parts back here. Oh, it's locked. Murphy's locked. But it's a good looking bus. Nice color combo, too. <laughs> has an alternator instead of a generator, uh, aftermarket air cleaner. It's even got the original, I don't know, the battery's just kind of stuffed in there, but even the battery tray is the original one, which is like the first spot for these things to rust out. Oh yeah, the door speakers, uh, the belt line. Only thing with buses from California, anything that's made out of rubber, just goes to shit. Let's see, here's there's the, the belt line, and uh, that's not holding much water out. So that kind of took out the bottom of the door panel. And, uh, show up in the video, but there's some bubbling coming through on the bottom of the door. Some water getting in there. Uh, the heat doesn't work. I know. Well, we'll call it. We'll call it the what's supposed heat. Uh, it's nice laid out though. The seats are in nice shape. With all the original stuff in it. Missing an armrest, but it looks like somebody went and took um, uh, camper door panels and and the roof panels, put them in this camper light over the uh, probably black ones. Yeah, it's got the uh, closet that goes above the uh, the rear hatch back there. Kind of dark in here. Curtains. Those are uh, Westy curtains, curtain rods. We went to go pick it up. It didn't even start without a bunch of ether. And uh, the choke wasn't turning on. It was no big deal. The carb needs to be serviced. It's got a dead flat, a dead spot right off an idle. You really got to kind of feather the throttle to get it to go. So I just want to do a little quickie video to show what she looks like, and um, after I get everything done and squared away, I'll do a walk around and talk about all the stuff that was fixed on it. It's a list of a, a good dozen items on it. So, another thing I bought is the Suzuki King Quad. Supposedly just sat with uh, bad gas in it, and uh, it wouldn't start anymore. Ran fine before that, supposedly. Uh, ended up being a bunch of bullshit. Uh, after I cleaned the car and got her running, it smoked like a pig. So of course we had to go dig in to the motor. And uh, somewhere around here is the piston. Piston scored up real bad. The oil ring was stuck. Let me see that. Let me glare on it. I was able to uh, save the cylinder. That looks pretty good. I ran a honing stone around it. Which, I'm not going to make any money on this machine, that's for sure. I uh, got suckered on it. But, kind of goes with the territory. Once in a while, you get burnt and you learn a lesson. So, ordered the parts on this. It'll take four or five days for them to come in and I get that machine back together and all cleaned up and paint their racks and do everything that needs to be done to it for the rest of it. So, 
anyway, I will uh, do another video of uh, the bus when she's uh, all done, and I'll do a walk around then, do a little maybe test drive with the camera. Thanks.